Welcome back to The Engineered Angler. I'm Frank, The Engineered Angler. Uh, and these are the last lures I've made on the lathe. They're jitterbug kind of wannabes. Um, Topwater wobbling lures. I had a couple of questions uh, from some friends who saw the videos and they wanted to know some, the proportions. I went ahead and worked out the proportions mathematically so that you can so I can show them to you <laughs> and then you can uh, apply them to any size lure you want to make. So let me let me show you what I what I've drawn here. This drawing is what you would expect to see after you've laid out the the basic blank. Right? This would be the body and this would be that that circular lip section that you would end up having to carve out and shape into uh, what ends up being this uh, wobble lip. The key to making this wobble lip work is that angle and having enough material here to shape that angle. When I've drawn this very ferret in, very uh, sort of neck down at the, at the connection with this bell and I, I would not recommend that. That was just part of a sketch. So I, what I would recommend is that you round this off and keep it sort of broad. That'll give you some meat to drill into for that, um, for that connective eye. Uh, you'll also want to, if you can, on the lathe, uh, to hollow this out a little bit. So you'll, you'll be making sort of a bowl out of that bell and then shaping that. Now these dimensions that I'm going to give you are going to be kind of nominal minimums uh, so that you get enough meat to carve out what you need. You can make them a little bigger, you can make the bells a little bigger because you can always diminish the size. That angle preferably should be somewhere around between 50 and 65. I, I've established it as a ratio so it's easier to work out and you don't need to do a, you don't need to measure angles because that's a pain. I'm calling this the lip uh, and this the main body or the body. And so what I start off with is the dimensions of the body and we're gonna uh, proportion everything off of that. The body diameter, I'm gonna call it BD. I know this is a little eggheady, a little bit uh, geeky, but uh, it, it helps uh, later on for the calculation. So the body diameter is BD, then the uh, lip diameter is gonna be is LD, the lip length is LL, the body length is BL, kind of straightforward. Um, lip diameter should be twice the body diameter. So you can kind of see that visually. Right? Proportionally, the body length should be about two and a half times the body diameter. So if you're gonna go three quarters of an inch, then you take three quarters times two and a half, and that gives you this length. The lip length, which is the, the distance from here to here, you take the body diameter and you divide it by 1.5. Once you solve for the uh, lip length, you just add body length to lip length, and that'll give you how big of a piece of wood you need in your lathe. If you'll remember the old, the original jitterbugs, they had a very similar body shape as what I'm proposing here. But they had an aluminum metal lip, and it was more on a closer to a 45 than to what I'm proposing here, more like a 65. And uh, and then it had a little rivet eye that held it on there. Um, the reason I've changed this, and I'm not shooting for a 45 degree angle. The reason I'm not shooting for that is because I find that the old style really had to be retrieved very slowly to get that nice wobble action. Not to say they didn't work well, but you couldn't bring it in with a little more heat because it will it would bounce. They would just sort of hop on the water. And that really frustrates me. So I wanted something that I could bring back with a little more of a pace. And I find that this reduced angle of gives it the retrieve I want and that's essentially what I have here and this you can crank it back almost as fast as you want and it gives you a really nice wide wobble and a lot of burble in the water so here's a little model that I'm, I'm going to go ahead and lay out on the lathe and what I decided was that I wanted 
the body to be three quarters of an inch. The body width on this lure is about seven eighths. So it's a little bigger than what I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make. That means if I take the, the body diameter and multiply it times two and a half, and I get one and seven eighths inch. So I'll probably mark it right at two inches. The next thing I need to figure is what the diameter of this bell is or this lip portion is and that's going to be twice the diameter of the body so that's one and a half and then the length from here to here which is the lip length ll is the body diameter divided by 1.5 or one and a half and that gives me a half an inch let's go on out i got a piece of wood that i actually cut off of a the handles off an old post hole digger that broke and uh it's good hard solid oak all right, so I've gone ahead and done a little bit of sketching. It's gonna be the very back of the lure. And then the beginning of that neck or the end of that neck is that right at 1.875 or 1 7 eighths, just under two inches. And then here I have a half inch for that bell. I've gone ahead and just sort of sketched the shape a little bit. It, the diameter of this piece of stock is right at one and a half. The lip is going to be the full diameter of this piece of wood. I won't be taking anything off. I intended this video to be real short, not as boring. <laughs> this is engineered angler after all, and you're going to get dimensions and stuff. Anyway, so hopefully you can carry these dimensions to any size you want to make. So if you want to make a big offshore wobbling jitterbug style lure, you can. I hope you make some good ones. If you, if you do, do me a favor and uh, send me photos. I really want to see them. <laughs>